make way for a new generation of cars. This is the Strati, and it's a car almost entirely made of plastic. 1,800 pounds of the same stuff they use to make Lego. This is the world's first printed car. So far, 3D printing has been in for small uh, items. We've worked uh, with uh, several companies to develop a machine big enough to make things at industrial scale. Put it on the road uh, at about a hundredth the cost of traditional auto manufacturers and about five times faster. But the question is, is it fast? Yes! <laughs> it's all about micro-manufacturing, which means you choose a car, they print it for you, and you pick it up the next day. Incredible. The entire thing only took 44 hours to print. It's constructed of 212 layers of plastic laid one on top of each other. When we print it, uh, we can print honeycomb structure inside the actual wall of the vehicle for, for crash purposes. And so we think we're going to make safer cars than are on the road today. You can even choose which engine you'd like. Biofuel, electric, they just print the car around it. Here's a geek joke for you. Printer, driver, printer, driver. <laughs> the first factory will be here in National Harbor, but eventually a factory could be built near you. So your car will be built locally. No expensive shipping required. And it's better for the environment, therefore it's better for the climate. We hope that we're gonna be a big part of the solution um, for reducing our carbon footprint globally. Um, we seek to have 100 micro factories around the world over the next 10 years, and we think that's gonna make a dent. So we hope you'll join us. And the great thing about this car is, if you don't like the look of it, you can just melt it down and print a new one. Rick Adams, The Weather Channel.